Welcome to Everyday with Ray. I'm Ray, and today we're gonna cover a few different topics. I first wanna start off talking about Colin Kaepernick. He's a former 49ers uh, quarterback, and he's decided that he's no longer gonna stand up for the national anthem at football games. And his reasoning is he feels like this country's level of oppression. He feels like the United States and the American flag does not represent what it should for our people. And I agree a hundred percent. Besides police brutality and Trump banning um, refugees from our country, one of the things that I think is ridiculous too is that he thinks it's okay to grab women by the pussy. Seriously, America? we can do so much better than that and just an fyi for you guys who don't know it's your constitutional right not to stand during the national anthem you don't have to stand for the national anthem it's your choice okay so for you guys that are being disrespectful to kaepernick or not agreeing with him or feeling like he's doing something wrong it's ridiculous he has a choice to do that. He doesn't want to stand. He does not have to. So please stop blackballing this man. Kudos to you, Kaepernick. I'm Team Kaepernick. So moving right along to our next topic. It's a little risky, a little extra. But um, I was wondering when you're in a relationship with someone, what is a deal breaker for you sexually? Um, for instance, ladies, does he have to be large and in charge? Is that like a thing? If he's small and little, can you not do? I don't know about y'all, but I can't but Anyway, <laughs> that's one thing. Guys, does a girl really have to have like this huge ass that everyone likes for some reason? Like, is that a deal breaker for you if she don't got no booty? Does she have to have a throat deeper than the Atlantic Ocean to please you? And if she doesn't, that's a dub for her? Like, let me know. I want to know what you guys and ladies like out of your significant other sexually, whether it's the same sex or the opposite sex. I don't care. I just want the tea, okay? I'm not sharing mine, but you can give me yours and maybe I'll share next episode. On the topic of sex, it's only right that we do talk about people who are and who are not protecting themselves according to the media at the moment. Usher, yes, I went there, Usher. We have to talk about Usher, okay? I know you guys know the story. He got accused of um, sleeping with this, this young lady by the name of Quantasia, I think that's her name. And she said that they had sex and he didn't tell her that he had herpes. I have a problem with this story. Like, I can't stand this story. The first thing that bothers me is that a lot of people were saying, oh, I shouldn't sleep with her because she's a big girl. Excuse me? There's men out there that will drink a big girl's bath water, okay? Who's to say Usher is not that type of guy, first of all? Second of all, girl, Quintasia, Quantasia, whatever your name is. Why are they putting on him? You don't know this man. I understand he's Usher, but girl, he could have been a game. I wasn't taking out these, taking off these drawers unless he put on a condom. And that's real. So I don't know what your problem is, like what situation you're in right now. Maybe we're trying to get a couple of dollars. Is financial aid tracking you down? Sally Mae is on your ass, girl. I don't know what it is, but if you want, you can send me a message. We could DM. We could Snapchat, talk about it, FaceTime, whatever you want to do, girl. But we got to get it together. So now we're gonna get into my music choice of the week. Um, it's a young guy named LA and a young woman by the name of Queen Breeze. It's called Welcome to My City. It has a very New York sound. Um, he's a young guy, he's only 16 and he sounds a lot better than a lot of you mixtape rappers. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but it's pretty dope and I think you will really, really like it. Show him some love. <laughs>
Thinking about the town, Biggie with the crowd, Pac looking down. I'm in a city where everyone needs a mic, and that song, ooh, got people hype. Step up tonight, you catching big L's on sight. Don't be confused about the loss, it's just life. A giant stepping in the ring with some peasants. Are you mad? I could destroy you in a matter of seconds, like Rico on records, especially when it comes to my city. My tracks have you bopping like Diddy. Can you believe it? A kid that's keeping up with the vest on the ground, starting the call while I'm in the jet. Believe me, I'm next, so pay me respect. I'm just a funk master, so I gotta just flex. I'm from the city where they be verbal assassins. From Nasty Nas to third base, New York is an attraction. Just call if you wanted some action. Brother New York makes the greatest hits, the greatest kick. I rap block like Jada Kiss. I'm attacking the industry, but higher plans. Spitting the flame, shout out Queens like Spider Man. You know, people getting music due to high demand. People don't buy music, they just buy the brand. 2017, I'm going crazy like Bishop with all of this rap. All I need is that. Tim's in a Yankee hat. That's facts, my guy won't take it back. New York is coming back, so don't sit and relax. This is why I love New York. Young kids spitting flames, leaving you miss toys. Keep my seeds like capital. I flow like waves when I start to come after you. So please don't push me to my limits. New York know how to start things and how to finish. Surrender or die doesn't make a difference. I assure you, this not a happy ending. I hope you guys liked it too, okay? So leave him some comments. You can find him on YouTube. Um, and just let him know how dope he is. He's a young kid out here doing his thing. We have to support them, okay? Good stuff. Um, and before we end today, I want to go over the fact that I'm having a code drive. A Society is presenting it. LA, the guy you just video you just watched, he's going to be there. Queen Reese and Nikki Westside Official will be performing. Key the Barber, she's um, a, a female barber at that. She's going to be giving out some um, free haircuts for the, for the kids. We're going to be giving out school supplies. There's going to be games. There's going to be snacks. It's going to be dope. It's September 2nd. Excuse me, I almost drew a blank. But it's going to be September 2nd, and um, I'll post the flyer. You guys will see the flyer. It's really dope. It's going to be in Harlem. It's definitely a Harlem event. Um, and if you don't have a coat to donate, that's fine. Just come out, show some love, have some fun, some free snacks, get your kids a haircut if it's a guy, a little boy, um, and just show some love. That's all it's about. Thank you so much. Mwah.